What's cooking, you Venice fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. Now, finally, the U.S. tour is over. Juve are back in Italy, and now we can focus on the second half of this Mercado. Some new names, some old names, some big names are returning when it comes to the Juventus are being linked with. We'll talk about it all. Stick with us. We'll fill you in. Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to the Beyond Canary Zone. My name is Justin Sofro, and today it is August 1st, 2022. And of course, I got your latest rundown. This is the rundown of all things Juventus that you care about each and every day. Before we do anything, though, I'm going to ask that you do a couple of things. First off, smash that like button. Hit that like button for me right now if you could. Give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. It helps our channel to continue to grow. Helps us with the algo gods, all that stuff. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos now i just want to give this, this is your last warning this is your last update this is your last opportunity today the final day to be entered for the Pol Pogba giveaway that we're doing here on the channel. This is your last chance to be entered in to win the official home Juventus shirt, Pol Pogba. How do you do that? Okay, well, three easy ways. First up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Second up, go on Twitter at the Beyond Canary Zone. Find the pin uh, tweet at the very top there and make sure you are retweeting that, liking it, and then, of course, tag a friend in a response there at whoever your friend's name is. And then you will be entered in to win the Paul Pogba shirt. We'll be making sure everybody is doing that. And then you'll be entered in for sure with an opportunity to win when we give that away here in the next 24 hours. A uh, couple other little reminders real quick. Members members at the premium level get five times the opportunity to be entered to win the Paul Pogba shirt. Everybody else only gets one opportunity. Uh, members at the premium level get five times the opportunity. Something to consider doing that as well. And... Now, once the season kicks off, we will be doing the Members Prediction League. First place will end up getting the official Paul, or not Paul Pogba. First place will end up getting a shirt. It can be Paul Pogba if you want it, but it'll be a Juventus shirt. Uh, you'll be able to pick whatever player you want there. Second place will get 50 euros Juventus store gift card. And third place will get a one-year free membership to the channel here on. Uh, really good deals regardless. All you know, No matter what, if you win first, second, third, you're going to be happy with that. So make Make sure you join the member squad so you have a, a uh, potential opportunity to play in this prediction league. All right, let's get into it. What news we have for you today? And of course, the first one's a big one. Let's talk about it. Correa dello Sport are reporting saying that Juventus are in contact once again with the agent of Sergei Milinkovic Savage. Lazio are asking for 60 million euros and are not open to including players in the deal. Um, something I'll, I'll say here, and I, I don't. Let's, let's be, I, I, when I say I don't know, I'd say I don't think anybody truly understands the financial situation of Juventus, how, if they're able to do it, if they're not able to do it. Um, I've seen reports out there stating that basically if it comes back and it appears that Paul Pogba is potentially long-term going to be out for Juve, they will move for Malinkovic Savage, or at least they'll try to put in an effort. Um, is this uh, is this a smoke screen? Is this a, a hopes and dreams kind of uh, clickbaity kind of news to get out there for guys uh, for Corridor Sport, other other journalists, other whatever entities to try to get more attention potentially? But if I'm Juventus right now, if I'm looking at the way the midfield is, the midfield without Paul Pogba isn't any better. And you can't start the season telling me that's what we're going we're going to war with, especially if Paul Pogba may not be back until what January. Who knows? We, we nobody knows. Nobody knows. Uh, speculating on that until we have a real solid, uh, you know, decision on whether how they're going to move about this. The, the ETA. It's, it's always dangerous when you say the ETA on recovery times. But to me, and I, I say this as a Zaniolo, and I know Zaniolo kind of seems like it's fallen off a little bit. But if Juventus were willing to uh, to shell up the money to pay for Zaniolo in the Spercato. Uh, allocate all funds to Malinkovic Savage. To me, I think not only if you can get Malinkovic Savage right now and have him playing, but you're going to tell me we're going to have Malinkovic Savage and Paul Pogba potentially playing in the, in the uh, midfield together? Hell yeah. That's, uh, well, here's what I would say, too. Right now, if you look at it in this Mercado, Juventus have not spent any money. Juventus are up 20, and that's great. I'm glad they made money off the sale of Matthias Select, and they were able to get Bremer. You got in Pogba. You got in Di Maria. That's fine. Those guys are frees. Uh, now it's time to spend some money. And you could use, I say, allocate that 20 million euros. And, you know, again, I'm spending other people's money. 
But if I could, if if it's up to me, I would be allocating what I could to bring in Malinkovic Savage in this Mercado if it's possible. Now, is it possible with Lotito and his uh, stance when it comes to Juventus? Is it possible with you know all the other factors that go into it? We'll see. But it's something to keep an eye on, and I'd say full steam ahead if you can end up getting a player like like Malinkovic Savage, you'd vastly improve that midfield. I understand there's other issues, too, that need to be addressed. Um, Next up for me, personally, would be the left-back position. It would be. I don't know, and I doubt that Juve will probably actually go after a left-back during this Mercado. But at the same time... um, you could, you could go after a winger. You could, there's a few other ways you could go about it right now. But I think if the midfield's not good, you're going to see a lot more of the exact same team we saw last season. So I, I think Malinkovic Savage should be a priority, if, if, if it's possible. We'll see. All right, let's continue on, though. Let's talk about another midfield idea that Juventus have out there. And that's, of course, Panetti's Tudor Sports reporting saying that PSG has rejected the Moise Can Panetti's exchange proposal, preferring to collect the 20 million euros already in- required to sell the Argentinian midfielder. Juventus would not want to pay that sum immediately and is studying a new plan. The intention is to offer a loan with right of redemption to the Parisians while intermediaries are working to lower the Parisian club's demand. So. I have no comment. I have no comment about this. You, you know my feelings when it comes to Panetti's. Uh, that's it. I mean, if you if you can get rid of the rest of the dead wood to bring in more dead wood, I, to me, if you're looking at this, if you're sitting down and you're comparing Malinkovic, Savage, and Panetti's, and I know it's not equal. I know there's a lot of other factors, but I, what I'm saying is spend the extra money. That's all I would say. Uh, but, again, I, can, can you work out a deal also where you're going to, you know, s- Spread it out over a couple seasons. We'll see. Again, Panetti's is what it is. Maybe Juve will go get Panetti's. Allegri and Julian can all be happy and sit around the campfire uh, with their new Gista. There we go. All right, let's continue on. Talk about Rugani and his situation at Juventus. Alfredo Padula is reporting saying that Rugani Impoli Corsi, the Impoli owner, moves in first person. The defender reflects and looking at the situation. What a weird way to say that. Uh, But basically what it's saying is they're interested in Rugani. They want to bring him back, especially after I believe it was uh, Viti, who, um, if you look him up, uh, Viti, Mattia Viti, uh, he looks like the child of Giorgio Chiellini and maybe Benucci, maybe another guy. I can't remember exactly who it is, but he looks like a baby Chiellini. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> back on topic for me. Uh, Rugani, back to Empoli, is a possibility. He may you know, want to go back to his old club, uh, but for right now, we don't know. We don't have an update there, and we'll continue to see how this one develops, if it does at all. And there are also reports of trying to include Rugani in a Malinkovic Savage deal, uh, especially because we know that Manizio Sadi likes Rugani. Uh, but it seems that they are going to stick pretty, he- you know, pretty, pretty hard to a not including a player in that deal. All right, an old name, a name that I would be excited about if I thought this was true at all. Um, a guy that I want to see at Juventus, but unfortunately it appears it may not happen. Carnavale uh, via Il Giornale is, re- is um, I guess, not reporting, but just stating. You know, he is the Sassuolo uh, sporting director there. Says, on Raspadori, there is Napoli and Juve. It is clear that the market is still long and anything can still happen. But it is equally true that our idea is to end negotiations within a few days to focus on the championship. Well, two things. Obviously, there were rumors back, you know, back it feels like forever ago, a month, a couple months ago now, um, that Raspadori and Juve were, you know, it, it seemed destined to be. Well, now that's cooled off a lot. There's been I've heard no flirtation when it comes to Juventus and with uh, Sassuolo Carnavale. There, potentially there could be. Maybe they are moving in silent in the background. But here's my personal feeling on this: is the things have heated up with Napoli and Carnavale is trying to use Juventus to make more money to get the deal done quicker, put some pressure uh, there on De Laurentiis, and that's all I really glean from this information right now. Um, would I love to have Raspadori at the club? Absolutely. I would love to have him as a player, and I think he'll be a big piece uh, for the Italian national team in the future. But right now, I'm not buying in that I think that Juve are really going to be in this race right now. So we'll see if it continues to develop once again. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But right now, I am 
I am doubtful. I'm skeptical. All right, let's continue on. Let's talk about the striker, though. Other position or other players that could fill that position. Uh, instead of Raspadori, Tudo Sports reporting that Manata remains Allegri's favorite to complete uh, to complete the offensive department. However, the negotiation with Atletico Madrid is proving more complicated than expected. For this reason, at the Cantonasa, they are evaluating other profiles besides Muriel. There is interest in Dries Mertens. So... We've talked about Mertens over the few days. We've talked about Muriel as well. Um, obviously, they're going to probably want um, 15, what, 15 ish million euros uh, there for Muriel at Atalanta. Um, I still think, to me, what the main thing that I really gleaned from this and from this news, you know, they're throwing the names of Muriel and Mertens who have been, you know, thrown around the last couple of days. I gleaned from this is I still pretty feel fairly strongly, even though the news seems negative, I still think pretty uh, highly that Marata will be the guy when all things are said and done. And I think it's a smoke screen of a, little, a whole lot of nothing when it comes to a lot of these strikers. So we'll see. Uh, but to, that, that's just what I read from this. When, you, when you're putting that name back out there and acting like he remains to be and the negotiations are still happening instead of being shut down like was reported um, you know, within a week or so ago. I still think he's going to be the guy. So anyway, let's continue on, though, and let's talk about the midfield once again. And when I say this, I mean guys who need to leave in the midfield. Sky Sports reporting that Archer and Rabio are on the market for Juventus. For the French midfielder, Juventus are waiting for Monaco's moves, while for the Brazilian contacts with Valencia are planned between today and tomorrow to find an agreement on the transfer. Um, the Rabio one, I'll still, maybe we'll see if Monica does anything. We'll see. Uh, but I think for right now, until we have a better, clearer idea of what's going on with Paul Pogba, I don't think Allegri or Juventus are going to allow um, Rabio to move in this Mercado unless they're going to get another guy in. Malik at Savage. Come on, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, Arthur. Uh, they, we have developments about Valencia, so let's move on to that next one, uh, which Nico Schieda reported saying the talks are underway for Arthur from Juventus to Valencia on loan. The two clubs are looking to find an agreement on the salary. The Brazilian wants to move to the Spanish club, but he earns 5.5 million euros per season, and Valencia are asking the Bianconeri to pay part of that salary. Um, I think I just really need to see the uh, specifications of this loan. Is it a loan with an obligation? Is it an, a dry loan? Is it a you know a loan with an option to buy? That's something I want to know because if Juve are dry loaning him out to Valencia and they're wanting Juve to pay part of that salary, that seems a bit ridiculous. Unless it's like you know a mill. Here's a mill. You pay the rest. Uh, that that's what makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to send him on a dry loan and then continue to pay him. Then you're getting no benefit out of this outside of having the player not taking up a roster spot. Um, so that's something I want to see how that develops. But it looks like within the next 24 hours or so, we should have an update. And I always feel like that was probably dangerous of me saying that because every time I say there's going to be a timeline on it, we're we'll, we'll be there three weeks from now. So ignore my timeline. But I think we'll hopefully have some update regarding a move to Valencia for Archer uh, in the coming, let's say, in the coming days as Juve and everybody around Juve like to announce whenever it comes to uh, player player movement. All right. Last bit of news for the day is about Weston McKinney and the injury that he suffered prior to the match against Real Madrid. Juventus... Um, Stating, not reporting, they don't need to report, stating uh, that Weston McKinney this morning underwent radiological examinations at J Medical and it made it worse for him and now he's in worse condition. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that revealed a capsular injury of the left shoulder. The player will begin the rehabilitation process and will require three weeks of individual work. So he's going to miss the beginning of the season. How long will he be out? Is it just three weeks or is it going to be a lot more than that? Something to keep an eye on. It's a little bit weird, though, for a uh, player who you know may have dislocated his shoulder. Uh, I guess it's a bit more serious than that um, to have that much time out. Because usually, you know, I'd say maybe it's just bad, bad job by American sports. I remember they would just tell you just pop that bad boy back in and get back on the field. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm still skeptical when it comes to Weston McKinney. I still have a feeling uh, that he could be potentially a piece on the Mercado. It doesn't make any sense. Am I going to rant? Am I going to rant? No, I'm not going to rant. But I'm just going to say this very loudly and angrily. Why the hell did Weston McKinney not play in the first two matches of the U.S. Tour? It makes no sense. Why did he not play in Dallas, Texas? He is from Dallas, Texas. He's a big piece when it comes to uh, the USA branding for Juventus. Why would you not play him in his own home damn town? Jesus. All right. That's all I got to say. It makes no sense. Uh, he got injured before the last game. He wasn't injured, I guess, before that. 
Why? If you're not selling them, why? <laughs> All right. That's it. That's the news for today. I'm going to leave you on an angry note, <laughs> but that's where we sit right now. If you haven't already, make sure you're entered in to win the Paul Pogba shirt that we are giving away, like I said, within the next 24 hours. If you haven't already, make sure you go <laughs> smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, stay notified for all of our latest videos. I'm still yelling. <laughs> Do me a favor. Follow me at Justin Sovro. I'm yelling at you. Follow me at Justin Sovro and follow Bianconary Zone at Bianconary Zone. Twitter. Instagram, Facebook. I'll see you guys next time. Forza Juve, Forza Bianconeri.